During this video, we'll take a look at the Let's Go Fishing program and learn how to become a certified instructor. I'm Allie Thomas, the Education Coordinator for the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department. And with Let's Go Fishing, I supervise the program. So I get to do these trainings and work with our partner, LCI, in administering the program. Let's Go Fishing is a program that is administered through the Department of Fish and Wildlife and in partnership with Lake Champlain International. And what it is, is for anybody, any age, any degree of background in fishing uh, to participate in a program where they can learn that fishing is more than just about catching fish, it's about tackle craft, aquatic ecology and management, ethics, and um, hands-on experience fishing. So ultimately it's just the idea of getting people excited, enthused, aware, interested, and motivated to conserve land and water in our state. We begin the training with just a background of program in general. How as an instructor they proceed to conduct clinics and work with the public, you know, the logistics, the paperwork, that's in the very beginning and it's a short piece of the, the whole puzzle that is our training. And then we just do hands-on experience teaching them what we would like them to teach their participants. There are several different components that we try to include in every Let's Go Fishing activity, whether it's an hour-long program or a week-long after-school program. Uh, one of the first things that we like to cover uh, is ethics. Ethics is a tremendous part of any uh, activity that we do with the Let's Go Fishing program. Uh, we also spend a lot of time in that particular portion understanding uh, the rule and regulations and how to read the law book because on specific bodies of water there are going to be specific rules that must be adhered to. The other portion that we do has to do with conservation. Uh, that includes our build upon workshop that will teach children and adults both how uh, water flows, what's important about maintaining a well-balanced watershed, some of the trials and tribulations involved in keeping a well-balanced watershed. So it's not just specific to uh, the fishery itself, but any of the other species that have use of the water within that watershed as well. Uh, we have a section that has to do with uh, making your own tackle. So uh, everybody learns how to make their own lures, uh, and also knot tying, because let's face it, if you don't have your lure tied on really well, you may catch a fish, but you may very well lose that fish as well. Now speaking about the fishing part of it, we have to make sure that we know what fish it is that we're actually catching, uh, which is the portion I've been working on today, which involves fish ID and anatomy. Now the important thing is, is if a warden were to come and you have several fish but you don't know what they are, and he says, what fish is this, and you say, I don't know, he's probably going to write you a ticket if it's not in season or if it's too short. Then the last component of it that we have today is actually the casting portion. So not only do we learn about technique and casting style in several different types of fishing, uh, that could be with um, a standard spinning rod setup or it could be fly fishing, but we also do some what's called backyard casting so that we can practice our technique. Then we can also look at what we've caught and find out if it's something legal and if we can keep it. We do two workshops in the spring, one at this Kehoe Education Center in Castleton to really speak to the southern portion of the state and then one to the northern portion in Essex uh, as it, the regional office for the Fish and Wildlife Department in Essex Junction. You sign up for the training, participate in the four to six hour instructor training. You successfully complete a background check, which our warden force does, but you have to be willing to participate in that check and um, to remain an active instructor you just have to conduct a clinic every two years. We have people who reach over a thousand kids every summer. You know, it's just we have a lot of people who really are dedicated to the program. Certainly not everybody reaches that much. We have instructors who do one clinic every two years for 20 kids and that's crucial and very important and we really appreciate that. So if you submit your clinic proposal and you're all set up with the time, date, location, and number of participants, we give totes that in the totes provide a bunch of hands-on materials such as build upon basically from the, the ge geological substrate up, you know, the plants, the animals, everything associated with it. It's a very hands-on visual way to teach people about aquatic habitats. 
provide people with fishing regulation games, uh, fish ID games, puzzles, um, tackle craft, lure making. We can provide you with all the paperwork materials, um, which include fishing books and really cool angler guides that have information about ethical behavior, knot tying, fish identification. Uh, we provide law books, so as an instructor you can train people how to really figure out those fishing regulations, which can be tricky, um, so it's nice to have somebody walk them through it. Uh, we also provide people with kind of the paperwork necessary to keep our program going, but that's certainly a, a minor part of what we give you. We also give what are called backyard bass, which are like simulation fishing gear, which is really fun and sometimes the chosen activity even above real fishing for, for people. It's a fun game. Because Let's Go Fishing wants to really get beginners excited about fishing and the, it as a lifetime activity, we want to provide them with absolutely everything and make no barriers to them participating in a clinic. So while participating in a clinic, you can fish for free no matter how old you are. In Vermont, the rule is, or the law is, 15 and under can fish for free. If you're 16 years old and you're at a Let's Go Fishing clinic participating in it, you get to fish for free. The last thing we want is to make a license fee a barrier. So that's wiped out during the time of the clinic. Uh, we also provide the fishing poles, the fishing gear, any lure, bait, anything you'd need, we provide for people. Um, so they can come with nothing but themselves and fish, participate in the entire clinic and uh, hopefully leave somebody who wants to go purchase a fishing license and continue the hobby. To learn more about becoming a Let's Go Fishing instructor, visit the Vermont Fish and Wildlife website or Lake Champlain International at myshamplain.net. To watch more videos like this, check out ifishvt.com.